Good afternoon everyone, I'm Sergeant Go, your uh, lecturer for today and we are conducting a class on the task number 081-CharlieOscarMark-1054 How to apply emergency bandage Reference from STP 21-1-SMCD Okay, before we begin our class, let's class, let me discuss first the risk assessment level as you can see, we are outside. There are a few hazards in the area. First is the wildlife. If you see animals roaming around, uh, please don't touch them, don't pet them. Leave them alone. Inclement weather, just in case uh, there's an inclement weather, we have to relocate and move inside the classroom and continue training. The next one is uh, if there's an active shooter, uh, prepare to run, hide, and fight if necessary. Dehydration, make sure you guys are stay hydrated, drink water every 10 minutes. If you run out of water, we have water buffalo on the side. Environment consideration, make sure you police call the area after we're done with the training and pick up your own trash. Okay, so the risk assessment uh, level today is low. Again, we are conducting the task number 081-CharlieOscarMark-1054. Let me read the conditions first. Condition. While in a tactical field care phase, you have a casualty with a wound to an extremity. Bleeding is not severe enough to warrant a tourniquet but requires an immediate emergency bandage. The casualty has an improved first aid kit. Okay, we get IFAC here. With a DD form 130 tactical combat care card. And some iteration of this test should be performed in MAP 4. Standards. Apply an emergency bandage to control the bleeding without causing further injury in accordance with IAW training circular TC4-02.1, first aid. Now let's go over with the step-by-step -step procedure on how to apply emergency bandage. Okay, the first one is Put on the gloves if the tactical situation permits. Okay, here's our gloves. We have to make sure we're not touching uh, the wounds because uh, it may cause infections. So that's why we have to use the gloves. The next one, next step is expose the wound. Here's the wound. Make sure they're exposed. No, pack the wound with a roller gauze or combat gauze for large gapping wounds. Gauze should extend one to two inches above the skin. Okay, here's our gauze. Now, as you can see, there's a small loop in the end. So if you're Doing it alone, you can use this. Insert your hands in there. Okay. Place the white portion of the bandage down covering all the wound. So this is the white part. Make sure they're covering the wound. So you have to want to move in to the wound right there. The white part touching the wound. The fourth step is wrap the elastic portion of the bandage around the extremity. Okay. The next step is insert the elastic wrap into the pressure bar. So this is the pressure bar. You want to angle in 90 degree and slide it in the middle, right there. Make sure the pressure bar is on top of the wound, just like that. And the sixth step is pull the bandage in an opposite direction and apply pressure with the pressure bar over the wound. So that's the wound, should be over the wound. Pull the bandage in an opposite direction. 
and then continue to wrap the wound tightly ensuring all the edges of the white the wound pad are covered see you can, see, you can see you have to cover the white pad right there wound pad wrap it around The eighth step is secure the closer bar, closer bar to the bandage. One tame the body substance isolation. So you wanna get like two, two cloth put on the press on the closure bar. Insert inside on the side right there. Okay. All right. And then monitor for continued bleeding. That's the step nine. Step 10, if bleeding is controlled, then secure the bandage with a tape. So here's our tape. You wanna make sure the tape is touching your skin. So apply more pressure right there on the side. And the last step is record the treatment on a tactical combat casualty care or TCC card TD130. All right, so that's the that's all the step by step procedure on how to apply a emergency bandage. Is there any questions on the demonstration? Okay, no questions. All right. At this time, I will give you 10 minutes to practice. Get with your bottle body or pair with your bottle body, body to practice, to apply the emergency bandage with each other and vice versa. So uh, are we done with the practice, okay? Are you good? Is there any questions before we proceed the evaluation? No? Okay. Now let's proceed to the bio, uh, final evaluation. All right, so... One out of ten soldiers passed this uh, the evaluation. So those that need to retrain, uh, you have to make sure that you're gonna be here tomorrow at seven uh, zero seven hundred in, in your uniform. We need to retrain. Okay, now we are conducting the the quick AAR. I encourage everyone to to participate. So we can uh, we can find out what what's wrong with the what happened. All right. Uh, what was supposed to happen? First, a British soldier. What uh, class are we going to conduct today? The next one is we supposed to uh, do the deliberate risk assessment, which is the the risk assessment today is low. 
Then step the step procedure. Demonstrate the step by step procedure on how to apply emergency bandage. And then we practice and then we evaluate the squad. There's one person, one soldier who didn't pass the evaluation. Then I have to report the assessment. What actually did happen? Okay, and what went right? Good. So what went wrong? All right. How we do? How do we improve the training next for next time? Okay. All right. Thank you guys for all your uh, feedback. Now let's review the risk assessment. Is there any casualty when we're doing the the class? No. Is there anybody get hurt? Okay, did we pick up all our trash? Good. No active shooter, right? And we stay hydrated. Okay, everyone good to go? So this concludes my class. Thank you.